unpacked? Good. Now, before we throw the hood away, we got a situation. I'm sorry, this is Pete over at SWRC Southwest Rod and Custom. Today we're at DIY Auto School because Dylan, Mr. Clown Guy, is going to learn a little fucking action going on here. This is a lesson that everybody can learn, and it's a useful lesson that's not just going to save you money, but save you time as well. Now, what we're talking about, if you can grab that into the hood, you can see this is a brand new hood. We just unpacked it straight out of the box. But you also notice something else. You also notice that these are hard foam what? Blocks. They're hard foam blocks that are corner savers. When you get these type of body parts and you order them, these blocks, these hard foam blocks, I'm going to show them to you in a second, they are part of the packing that comes in the uh, a package when you buy this. Flip the hood around please. Thank you. Go that way. There you go, clown guy. And what we got here, now this is a special block because it's a very big block. This is a block that is used to protect our what? Your hood latch. That's the hood latch striker. Okay, he's learning. But the situation is we're not going to throw these away. We are not going to throw these away because my friend Pete is going to show you what to do with them and to use them to your benefit instead of throwing them away, we are going to make a tool out of these that's going to save us a lot of money and a lot of time and hopefully 940 over here will learn something as well. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. If you're going to be a professional paint and body guy, you're going to have to know how to hand sand. Now what hand sanding is, is using a hand block such as this one right here. This is a kit that you can buy that has various type of blocks inside it. Now there's also one other block added to this and this is the block that I'm talking about. This is a perforated hole block, they call it the big blue block. This is a very handy block for wet sanding and dry sanding. But this kit that you see right here, I'm not going to give names out, it doesn't fucking matter. I don't advertise and if you don't like it, fuck it. That's right. All right. Follow the lead here and you will figure out what we're talking about. These are hard rubber blocks. Okay. Can you hold that please right here, assistant guy? All right. So what we got here, we got flexible blocks of different sizes and kinds. Now what we're going to do, we are going to make our own custom blocks and I'm going to show you how to do that using the utility that is in the hood uh, uh, package when you get this package. There's no sense throwing these away. What we're going to do is we're going to make tools out of them that are going to be useful to you and me and hopefully this guy back here as we proceed down the line to do a professional job and do a quality job for the customer that's paying us to paint his fucking car. So we just saw that you can buy a kit which is very handy and it's always good to have this but there's always other avenues that you might travel down. I got a fucking airplane in the background. Where the hell is he, bud? Do you hear that fucking airplane? I can't think, dude, when the airplane's traveling. Okay, I'm sorry. We had an airplane that was going over the sky here and real loud and irritating. All right, back to the story. So we know that you can buy these blocks and blocks are handy to have like that. Best block kit that you'll ever own. But another thing that you're going to have that's very handy is your own personal handy dandy sanding blocks that you make yourself. Where is my grinder and is my air fucking compressor on? No. Turn my air compressor on, please. A technical assistant? Are you fucking joking me? Clown Hat needs to get his shit together because this is ridiculous. He shows up 30 minutes late this morning. Uh, he comes in dragging his ass telling me how he needs his phone for personal business. And he had to go back to the house and all this other shit. And blah, 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 blah. 
when he knows that he's supposed to open the shop right when he gets out of his truck, turn the fucking air compressor on, and get shit going so I, the owner, don't have to. What's going on, Dylan? Over here. guy like Pete, and you never know what you're gonna come across, alright? Not my fault, it's not 940's fault. Alright, before we go any further, once again, we showed you the blocks that you can purchase. Now, this is a block that I made right here, and this is actually a very flimsy foam. Do you see that? Yeah. This came out of a package. Is my air compressor all right? It sounds weird. It sounds weird, dude. Oh, there's something wrong over there. That's a fucking lawnmower across the street. We don't need my fucking air compressor going out. Yep. Now, this is a block that I made. Back to the story again. This is a block that I made many years ago, and this was packing foam. This is a hard, hard danced foam that I made from I don't know what it was that was in the box. It could have been a bumper cover. It could have been a hood. It could have been a quarter panel. But this was part of the foam. And you can see that this is a very flexible block. And it works very, very well. This is one of my main blocks when I'm working on, let's say, an old classic antique car that's got the big round fenders, such as maybe a Carmen Ghia. Volkswagen Carmen Ghia, or maybe a Volkswagen Bug, or maybe a 57 Chevy. All right, this is a hand block. Hand blocking is very important when you're sanding to get your body work proper without using your hand. Don't ever use your bare hand due to the fact if you look right here you can see the ridges in my fingers. Using your hand is a bad idea. So this is uh, the reason I made this block so I can actually use my hand and it will form to my hand as I am sanding. What we're going to do today, we are going to take this condensed foam right here. All right, now these are pieces once again off the hood that was shipped to us. These are corner protectors and these are very handy items to make blocks out of that will be precise and accurate to what you are trying to do. Now take for instance this block right here. We would probably just keep this block just like it is. The reason is is that it has all these contours, it has very sharp edges and it's very small. You can take your stick on paper just like so, stick it on the block and then wrap it do you see how tight I wrapped that? Do you yeah. see that? Okay. And then once it's wrapped, it becomes a little hand block that you will be able to use in very tight corner spots. Like let's say for instance right here in this area right here, you can see that this has a sharp line here and a sharp line there. What we would do to get that precisely blocked properly is we might be able to take our little hand block that we were going to throw in the trash and we'd be able to block that out and get a nice good surface going you see how I'm doing that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and do you see how using the small block, it covers all of the area? And when I say all the area, if you watch real close now, when I sand with my hand, for instance, okay, let me go ahead and uh, sand this part with my hand. You can see that sanding with your hand does not give it a proper sand job if you use the block. So this block would be handy to keep just like it is, but then on the other hand, Let's say that you're working on uh, an inside corner that you have to sand on the inside. And you usually use your hand to do that, but the hand is, you know, you're up in like this and like that. And your hand just isn't getting that curve properly. What we'll do then is we will take one of these little blocks right here. We'll take our little grinder. And what we'll do is we'll form that to a round contour. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> And as you can see, it sands and grinds very, very nicely. Let me... And I just want to let you know I'm doing this very quickly just to show you the situation. You would actually want to take your time and... Motherfucking air hose, I thought you fixed that bitch. Not that one. You would actually go ahead and take your time to find the curve that you want so you can use the block in the area need be. Uh, then you can go ahead once again and uh, take your sandpaper just like so. And now you just made yourself a nice, hard, firm block 
to go ahead and sand inside that area or wherever you're sanding. Another good thing is a block such as this. This is a nice block. You can probably make two blocks out of this one solid rubber block. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. We also see that this one already has a type of a curve already formed in it. We can go ahead and keep this block, this piece of hard foam block, and just leave it like it is in our specialty block box. Do you, you see what I mean? You can use that two different ways, man. How is that? Or actually three ways. It's flat right here. It's, it's not, not flat small. there. Okay, and it's, it's, got a curve, it's curves right? right here, all right, and it's flat right here and right here. That's right. But I so got a question, three. dude. If you wanted to cut that, all right, if you wanted to cut it, instead of grinding it down like that, what would you use, a little aerosol? To grind this? No, to like, say you wanted to cut it. Say you wanted to cut okay, it. Okay, so high. if you want to cut that in half, Dylan, what Dylan's asking is, if we don't want to keep it this big, we want to make several blocks out of it, you would go ahead and possibly use, let's say, a, a hacksaw, for instance. Something that has a very fine blade on it. Then you can come back with some 80 grit and hand block the block to form to the shape you want. This block would be a good block to keep because if you look right here, you can see that this has got a hump curve in it and it also has a dip curve, dip curve, and then two flat, perfectly flat surfaces. This would be a good block just to leave like it is. Yeah. And let me go ahead and demonstrate and show what I'm talking about here. We would first take our sandpaper. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the inner curve. You can see how I did that. And then I'll fold my edges over this way. All right. And another thing these blocks are good for before we start out, these are good for nibbing blocks. What is nibbing? That is when you paint a, an item, an object such as our hood, and you might get some trash in it. Okay, and you don't want to buff the whole hood. You don't want to do that, right? right. Over here, thank you. You don't want to do all that. You don't want to have to color sand and buff the whole hood because this is a quickie in and out job. So what you would do is take your nib block and wrap some, let's say 1500 on the edge of it, and using this versus this is going to get you a nice, quick, fast, accurate sand job and bust that dirt out of the paint where you can go ahead and spot buff it. Let me go ahead and demonstrate this block here. This is a multi-purpose type block. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that. We're going to use this curved edge right here. And if we look at our hood, you can see there's a lot of curved edges going this way, this way, and you know, here's one right here that, you know, swoops like that. So if we were going to use this edge of the block, we would use that in this area here because we see that that fits very good. Do you see what I'm saying, Dylan? Mm -hmm. And then once again, using this block, you can see that it covers good area and you're getting a nice, solid, firm sand job as you are sanding it down, scuffing it, ready to paint. Now, there's one more thing I want to tell you where to get these at. Uh, you can go to your local body shop, for instance, Peyton Body Shop Collision Center. They have tons of these. They throw these in the trash. If you go over there and you ask them, hey, can I get some of those uh, block protectors that are on the hood and the fenders when you get them in, they'll be more than happy probably just to give them to you. Am yeah, I correct? Yeah. Uh, to get these type of blocks, you would actually have to order a hood or a fender or a quarter panel or a door or something. So if you ever come across these type of blocks or if you know a paint and body shop, that uh, is down the street from you maybe, go over there and ask them, can I have those blocks that you're throwing away? They're very handy, they're very uh, uh, unique in any way that you want them to be, and they're very useful. I mean, look at here, look what I got right here. I know, See? man. I got, a, I got a V right here that if I am, let's say that I am molding a, a body line in, for instance. Yeah. All right, uh, on a car, and the body line has a sharp curve. And let's say, for instance, that we have to do some body work in this area on the hood that we're not going to replace the hood and we're just going to fix it, but we want to make sure that that body line is proper. We can go ahead and take one of these blocks, and as you see, it doesn't fit right, so we can go ahead and take our sander. And once again, I'm just telling you this, that I'm doing this very quickly. Uh, if this was actually a professional job instead of a training purpose uh, situation, I would be accurately taking my time. But you can go ahead and take that block just like that. And then sand it to the contour that you want to fit that area. Once it's sanded down or molded, to fit that outer contour, that line, then you'd be able to take that block and get that line perfect where you would never even be able to tell. So if you come across any of these, if you got uh, access to get some of them, 
get them, keep them, don't throw them away because this could save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and also give you a toolbox full of tools that you can work with the rest of your life. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Tech tip of the day, foam blocks, trash that we have turned into tools. Hey, so is that be something you would use opposed to one of your blocks over here? Or, okay. or, or, or can right, they first do, of all, or are they just specialty blocks? These would be specialty blocks that you would use on different angles, features, and uh, contours of the body. Uh, I'm going to say it once again. These are good for nibbing, okay? Nibbing is a uh, technique that you do when you get dust in your clear coat or your paint. You would nib that little dust speck out so you can spot above it. This would be a good block for contours, all right? We will keep this block just like that, and uh, hopefully it'll be useful to us. You can take these blocks once again, and you can form them to the shapes that you are sanding and, and accurately sand what you need to sand. This is Pete. We got 940 in back of us here. And uh, hopefully you learned something today and I didn't waste your time and you didn't waste my time because watch, listening, and learning will make you a better person to do it right, get her done, do it right, and always be on top of the fucking game just like I am. And hopefully this fucking clown will be one day. Thank you. We need to get our fucking hood done. You need to get that bitch sanded so we can paint the inside of it. Let's go. Hey, dude, I, I got an idea. Why don't we make a DIY on uh, cracked windshields? How to stop the crack? All right, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. We'll make one tomorrow. Okay, cracked windshield 101 tomorrow, bud. Not today. Not today. We've already been fucking around all day. Let's not do it today. We gotta go. Take it. All right. Get that hood sanded. We gotta clear. We gotta get the paint on it. Take it easy. We'll see you later. Or what, man? No, I don't. I want to paint. Get the fucking inside of it sanded. Scuff it down with a red Scotch Brite. We gotta paint it silver. Take it easy, man. You have a lot less stress in your life, dude. You just turn it down about ten fucking notches. Remember, don't throw them away. Go to the body shops. Get your specialty sanding blocks for free, and they'll be more than happy to give them to you. We'll see you later, and take it easy. No. I, I asked you to pull the fucking car around so we can see what covers and what doesn't. You haven't even done that yet. Okay, we just got done with the video, that's why. You ever thought about that? I don't got two I'm gonna get sick, dude. I'm gonna get fucking sick here. How long have you fucking been here, clown fucking hat? As long as you don't shit it! As long as you don't shit it!